the largest ever field of female adventure racers anywhere, anytime. This is actually the only women's adventure race. It is nothing like any other kind of race you've ever done before. I keep telling women there will be more laughing in this race than any other race that they've ever done. This race really attracts all kinds of people. I mean, you'll have the super fit athlete and uh, you'll have someone that just wants to get outside, enjoy the outdoors and, and have a fun event that has some challenges to it. That's really the beauty of this particular event is you're bringing together an enormous array, a, a, a huge bell curve in a sense of, of different kinds of athletes. I took it on for two reasons. One, I wanted something for beginner women to go out and have a fabulous time and learn that, you know, you can be fit and have a great time, even if you're not fit right now. And the second and the most important one is to support the Young Survival Coalition, and that's an organization for women under 40 with breast cancer, and it was founded by my best friend's wife. It's really enriching to see people find their ability to go out and do something they might not think that they could ever do. Most adventure races are going to have a, a water pump section, a bike section, or a run section, but then the rest is up to the creativity of the promoter. It's really anything we can come up with that's challenging and fun. This event should be the funnest part. It's just wacky stuff that kids would say, or kids, you see the kids plan their stuff, I'll clear it to the adult level. Maybe they won't do just a 5K, maybe they won't do just a bike race, but when they throw all this funny, crazy stuff together, uh, it makes it fun and makes it more of a team effort. All of a sudden they think, this is great, they get off the couch and they start working out and making a lifestyle. The type of adventure racing I do takes uh, a little bit of craziness. The great thing about this race is I've designed something not for people like me. It's designed for everybody else. You, know, you don't have to be extreme to go out and have a good time. It's just a great way to be out with a teammate, enjoying doing what you like to do in a multi-sport activity. What you're going to see is a lot of women who have normally stopped it because they have a teammate that don't give up. Great team camaraderie. That's what adventure racing is all about. Have fun. I love your work. It's going to be a great day. We couldn't put on a, an event of this magnitude without all the volunteers. We've had women who volunteered in previous years, and I, they had jump in their race. One of the hardest things is trying to get women volunteers because they're all racing. Racers, friends, families help. Uh, friends and family of the of the, te the planning team help. People who are just interested in the race but don't think that they want to do it this year come out. It's a lot of fun for the spectators too. Come out and support this race because we know it's always very well done. The plan is for it to be a multi-city event. We want this to be the very best race that it possibly can. I think it would be really cool if this race really expanded to travel across the country to bring adventure racing to the doorstep of thousands of women. It'd be great to see this become a, a national tour at some point where there's six or seven events around the country that bring women together. It has the potential, I think, to meet a lot of markets. There's a lot of places that this would succeed at, and I'd like to see it spread. This race is all about people going out and having a good time. That's its whole goal. This race is awesome! Come on! We had fun. Everything is going super. Life is really good. We just wanted to pay We're just excited to have the chance and the opportunity to come out and be a part of this. So thank you for having us here today and uh, we look forward to being here next year. And next year is going to be better, so come back next year.